Item number SCP-5984 Security Level 3 Containment Class Keter Disruption Class Amida Risk Class Critical Special Containment Procedures SCP-5984 poses a significant threat to the veil's integrity due to its size, capabilities, and resemblance to a pop cultural figure. Therefore, the Ethics Committee and the Overseer Council have jointly approved the implementation of Protocol Circuit Breaker. Summary of Protocol Circuit Breaker In the event that SCP-5984 is sighted in a highly populated area, the Foundation is authorized to block off all roads leading in and out of the area, disable internet access in a 10-mile radius, deploy Mobile Task Force Omicron 84, power beyond imagination, equipped with electromagnetic pulse soft capable weaponry in an attempt to secure SCP-5984. If the above fails, evacuate and amnesticize all citizens before firing an NNEMP non-nuclear electromagnetic pulse cruise missile to incapacitate SCP-5984. When secured, SCP-5984 is to be transported to Armed Reliquary and Containment Area 2. Specific containment measures are currently pending HMCL approval. Description SCP-5984 is a 6.5 meter autonomous organism resembling Optimus Prime from Paramount Pictures Transformers Adaptations. SCP-5984 was originally non-anomalous, used as a model to promote Dark of the Moon, the then latest film entry in the series. However, after being acquired by the Church of Maxwellism through currently unknown means, it has been extensively modified from its original purpose. These modifications include replacement of non-functional joint with articulated tungsten alloy steel, titanium alloy armor reinforcing various parts of its body, functional laser and plasma weaponry such as shoulder cannons and an ion blaster replica on its back, integration of an Azimov class artificial intelligence capable of speech in a voice similar to actor Peter Cullen. SCP-5984's primary purpose is a defense measure against neo narcotic attacks on Maxwellist churches and operational fronts, with a 98.5 average success rate across all beep documented skirmishes. Because of its weaponry, these skirmishes invariably result in extensive collateral damage and fatalities, requiring costly cleanup and disinformation measures. In cases where it is in areas with civilian presence, SCP-5984 will check its fire or otherwise minimize its use of its artillery in favor of precision melee attacks. Despite the presence of functional wheels on its lower half, SCP-5984 lacks a vehicle mode capacity, presumably due to the laws of mass conservation. Therefore, transportation is achieved solely by foot or activation of a remote teleportation system by Maxwellless operatives. Conventional weapons have little to no effect on SCP-5984 beyond cosmetic damage, but it is able to be temporarily subdued. Note, duration of incapacitation has ranged from 5 minutes to 1 hour depending on voltage levels, by electromagnetic pulses, while SCP-5984 has an acting increasingly complex countermeasures and attempt to mitigate, they have been the most consistently successful stopgap used in Foundation encounters. Thus, the usage has been implemented into Protocol Circuit Breaker. A bridge timeline of significant SCP-5984 events 20th of March, 2011 SCP-5984 in its initial non anonymous form is installed in BEEP as part of Transformers Dark of the Moon's promotional campaign. 29th of June, 2011 Transformers Dark of the Moon releases in the United States. 10th of July, 2011 
One day prior to its scheduled removal, SCP-5984 is seized by the Church of Maximalism. A joint investigation by Hasbro Incorporated and Paramount Pictures' parent company Viacom Incorporated yields no results. Records of this investigation were seized and relevant employees amnesticized. Retroactively after the events of the 8th of July 2016, circa 11th of July 2011 to the 8th of May 2016, SCP-5984 is modified by the church. 13th of May 2016, first skirmish between SCP-5984 and Narcic forces during a raid on Our Lady of St. Hedwig in Reno, Nevada. During a raid on Our Lady of St. Hedwig in Reno, Nevada, the Foundation arrived one hour after its conclusion with the sole surviving Narkite, apparently referring to SCP-5984 as an artificial abomination before expiring. Attempts at retrieving statements from Maxwellist members are met with non-compliance. 8th of July 2016 First SCP-5984 and Narkite battle directly witnessed by the Foundation in the streets surrounding Maxwellist Front Company Clockwork Microprocessors in Sunnyvale, California. Mobile Task Force Moon 98 intervenes in the skirmish and is met with hostility by the Narkites, while SCP-5984 does not engage against Foundation personnel. After elimination of all combatants, SCP-5984 dematerializes. Class E amnestics are dispersed among eyewitnesses with cleanup measure roadwork put into place. 7th of May 2017 First discovery of SCP-3984's vulnerability to electromagnetic pulses after a battle between it and 20 SK Biotype 001 behemoths at the Maxwellist controlled power station in Portland, Oregon damages the equipment. This resulted in an electrostatic discharge that fatally electrocuted the Type 001s and renders SCP-3984 incapacitated. Remote teleportation is activated before Foundation personnel can secure SCP-5984. 9th of June, 2017 the proposal for protocol circuit breaker is submitted to the Overseer Council, who in turn submitted to the Ethics Committee. 12th of June, 2017. The Ethics Committee approves protocol circuit breaker with a 25 to 3 to 2 vote, with Council following suit with a vote of 10 to 2 to 1. Mobile Task Force Omicron 84 is established shortly afterwards. 18th of June. 2017, first attempt at the implementation of protocol circuit breaker in Chicago, Illinois fail. Further information requires level 4 or higher clearance. 30th of August, 2017, person of interest, 8365, a high-ranking member of the Church of Maximalism, Hedwigian Domination, presumed to have ties to SCP-5984, agrees to an interview with Foundation personnel. See Interview 5984 Interview 5984 Interviewed POI 8365 Stanley Podrensky Interviewer Dr. Dennis Whitwicker Begin Log SCP-5984 has been giving our organization quite a headache, Mr. Podrensky. Oh, you're referring to the Mac. I do apologize for the trouble it caused. But sometimes our war against the flesh requires some overt measures. Hmm. These overt measures, as you put them, require us to put millions of dollars in damage control. Moving along, why Optimus Prime? Surely your church can manufacture something of SCP-5984's capabilities without having to use such a recognizable figure. It took us almost Five years to complete, even with a framework already there for us, even with our resources, AI development, and gathering the necessary materials isn't cheap. I thought your organization, of all things, would understand this. 
There's also something that resonates with us. This series. Two diametrically opposed factions engaged in a battle that started millennia ago and may go for many millennia more. One shall stand, one shall fall. Noted, but why go all the way with a voice? Seems unnecessary, no? <laughs> Wouldn't you give it a chance? This interview is concluded.